Hello, this is Cindy from Cinder's Papercraft. I am only just popping on to show you how this turned out. The reason I'm not filming this is because I mentioned earlier that I was going to be doing an A4 version. So rather than make up two of these, um, I thought I would ask I can give you the measurements for this, this is no problem, but would you prefer that I do another one this size, which is a which is a lovely size, or would you rather that I done an A4? Now that looks like they're uh, loose, it isn't, they just literally need things into a, uh, and then they even out. So I don't know. Um, I'm hoping you'll tell me. Um, these ones are magnet closures. I popped on earlier to show you how to do the paper. Um, I think it turned out really nice. I really like it. Um, it's 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 an easy-ish project. Um, so let me give you the size. And sorry about the lighting. It's just I'm doing this quite late in the evening. Right, so this one is ten and a half by seven and three quarters. So that will be. Oh, I haven't got my. Um, I've got my uh, conversion charts usually here. It's going to be twenty six point five centimeters by about twenty centimeters. Right, so the question is, do you want me to do the A4 size? Well, when I say A4, it will hold A4 cardstock. So it doesn't matter if you're American or English, it will hold both. Um, and, uh, well, I think that's basically it. It's a, it's a nice project. Um, I will be using these four tabs which I will pop on. I was going to use the um, tab folder um, folder punch but I want more writing space on because this is going to be where I keep some of my cards and uh, projects that are sort of half done. Um, I will often make up paper um, and not then use it for a while and I need to be able to store those so rather than make up two of these, if I'm going to be making an A4 size, I would rather do that one um, and just give you the measurements. So story isn't the tutorial, but rather than make up two, if, if you feel that you want the bigger one, then I'm more than happy to make the bigger one. But um, I think it's turned out absolutely beautifully. Um, it's nice and secure did i tell you it was magnet closure i think so and that was using the painted harvest painted harvest stamp set which i am completely in love with now right so if you can let me know then i will go on and either sorry about this lighting it is terrible I will either go, you can see there that I did actually emboss them in the end to make them more shiny. Um, but that's only because I had a real lot of time and I like to make these as smart as I can. So, enough waffling. Let me know if you want A4 size or if you would like this one, this size done. But you will be doing it in exactly the same way but with just different measurements but let me know and if you have any preference on colour also leave that in the um, the the comments and messages and to all my subscribers again thank you all so much I'm getting so much um, well I, I support I, I have the most beautiful subscribers and each one of you is amazing so let me know and if if um if you don't mind you can just put i don't mind
<laughs> right, okay. I'm going to upload this so hopefully I can get some um, some comments overnight and then tomorrow I can crack on and get this done. But I think this turned out beautifully. You can't see it properly. Um, oh, I didn't tell you how wide that was. So that is one and a half inches wide, which is well, about four centimeters. And at the bottom, that is three inches, which is well, about well, between 77, 7.7 7 centimeters. Right, okay. I will go for now. Please leave messages and hopefully there will be enough for me to be able to go on and record this tomorrow. Right, so there it is. Thank you ever so much for being with me and sharing this time with um, me. Um, and I'm going to go now. <laughs> Thank you very much and I'll see you later. Bye bye.